Hello folks and welcome to a special episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy Tactics, it's L58, and uh, I uh, wanted to show you, uh, well, I, I promised I would do in-depth class breakdowns, so let's start it off with the Squire. Uh, the Squire is the most basic class of the game, so you're not going to see anything too special. Um, there are a few good abilities. First off, we have Accumulate, uh, which is probably the best ability that the Squire can learn. Uh, charge up one, one's power to raise physical attack power. That is awesome when paired with the Monk class. Um, whenever you are not in range of attacking or you're hiding out and you have enough health, you use Accumulate. You build up that uh, attack power so you can hit them even harder next time. Um, next we have, ooh, whoa there, we have Dash, uh, which is, you know, you just, you run into another enemy. Uh, you can only go within one square of uh, where you are. And a very, very basic attack. Your regular attack will do more damage. The only benefit that Dash has is that uh, it might knock somebody back. Um, throw Stone, pretty much the same story there. Has a longer range. Um, and you just throw a little stone. Won't do that much damage, but, uh, you know, eh, what, what can you expect? Next we have Heal, which you recover from at normal status effects like Darkness, Silence, and Poison. Uh, can be useful, however, when you really break down the Squire class, you probably won't be using these as your secondary abilities. Might be good, um, like I said, with a Monk. However, uh, Monk has a similar ability to Heal, so... And it's kind of lost on this uh, class. Would have been better used somewhere else. Uh, as for counter abilities, we have counter tackle, or you counter with a dash attack. Won't do much damage, but hey, this might be your first uh, counter ability, so yeah, it's it's good for beginning. Uh, next, we have um, our you know I guess radial abilities. We have equip axe. Equip an axe regardless of job. I don't really find it all that useful. Axes, I think, are kind of useless. But that's just me. Next we have Monster Skill, which is a pretty interesting skill. Um, if you like playing with monsters in the game, um, like having them on your party, then this can be useful. Um, if you're within a range of three, you can use their abilities uh, as your own. Now, like I don't really play with monsters in my party, but um, if I did, then I definitely have a squire um, or, you know, somebody with the monster skill ability um, so I could utilize it. Next we have defend. Um, basically, if you are out of range and, you know, you're fighting some archers, defend can be useful. Uh, it will lower the damage you take, but, you know, I don't really find it all that useful. And then next we have gained JP up, which is probably the most useful ability for the Squire class, period. And you use it whenever you're building up any class, really, uh, and you need to get that JP in a hurry. Uh, amount of JP earned in battle is increased. I believe it's like doubled. It goes up to, I believe you can get up to 52 JP per per attack. I, I could be wrong, it's been a while, um, but you can gain a ton with this equipped. And then finally we have move plus one, increased movement range by one. It is useful, however, later on in the game you can learn a move plus two and a move plus three and even a teleport ability. So, once again, very good when you're starting out. I do like the uh, character sprite for the male. I think it looks pretty decent for, you know, a new uh, beginning class. Um, but other than that, pretty basic. I would have to rate the Squire on a scale of 1 to 5, probably at a 2. Uh, not the worst class in the game, but definitely, you know, not something that you want to keep around for very long. Um, so there you have it. Uh, this is L58 saying thank you for watching. Please, uh, please comment. Let me know what you think about Squires. Um, you like them? You hate them? Why? Why not? And, uh, I will see you later.